The Energy Ministry has warned all defaulting um, that's companies, including stakeholders in the power sector, to settle their debts or face similar action. The Public Relations Officer of the Ministry, Nana Damwa, in an interview exclusively told TV3 that the Ghana Grid Company will aggressively retrieve its debts despite an ongoing stakeholder cons consultation to resolve the issues. A statement from the Ghana Grid Company quoted Gridco CEO Jonathan Amwakumba as saying the disconnection of Valco is part of their debt collecting measure to mobilize funds to run its operations. According to the Energy Ministry, other stakeholders including Electricity Company of Ghana, ECG, Netco, PDS amongst others, have been meeting as part of efforts to amicably resolve the indebtedness on pass. Government agencies owe Gridco about 1.2 billion CDs, an amount the company says has hampered its operations. In November this year, Senior Staff Association hinted of some industrial action to drive home their demand for government to pay off the arrears, but according to them, very little has been done in that regard. Later in December, Gridco senior staff declared a series of actions with the view of retrieving monies owed the company. Nana Damwa says although talks have advanced in resolving the challenge, individual stakeholders can take steps to claw back debts owed them. Um, as we speak to you, um, fortunately power has been restored to Valco and they are continuing to operate whilst we um, pursue the discussions around the table to see a permanent resolution to these problems. The point for me, however, is that it is critical for us to let every other person and entity know that any other player within the energy space is up and doing and they will be coming after you if you have any reason that justifies the current condition of things please do not hesitate to get in touch with them and make the necessary arrangements the energy sector belongs to all of us and we must act to ensure that it becomes stable and is sustained he however says the ministry and government will make sure there is constant supply of power there's a broader plan in place to ensure that not just Greco, but all parts of the energy sector are brought to stability.